This is Black Hills Fox Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello, everybody. The Faith Boys basketball team sits atop the Region 8B standings with an impressive 9-1 record. The Longhorns are focused on keeping things rolling in the second half of the season, and tonight they hit the court to take on Dupree. And the Faith Boys take care of business, winning by the score of 63 to 48. And with the win, Longhorns are now 10 and 1 on the season. The Red Cloud Boys also notched a 60 to 47 victory over St. Francis tonight. And high school girls basketball, Dupree defeated Bison 63 to 20. Kadoka knocked off its rivals from Phillip 57-29. The Bennett County girls picked up a big 65-20 victory over Crazy Horse. The Red Cloud girls keep things rolling with an impressive. 78 to 11 win over St. Francis. The Pine Ridge girls came up on the short end falling to uh, Marty 68-52. Winner took care of Corsica Stickney 54 to 22. The Warriors will play at St. Thomas More coming up on Thursday. The Black Hill Stock Show got up to a nice start over the weekend with some exciting action at Rodeo Rapid City. Today it was our canine friends turn to grab the spotlight at the North American Sheepdog Trials. Andrew Lynn takes a closer look. Meet Vic, an eight year old collie from Faith, South Dakota. He's made the switch from pet to all of a sudden now I got to work. You know, you can almost see that light bulb switch in his head. You know, um, he drops the toys and we're all about the sheep. Vic, along with 44 other dogs, competed in today's sheepdog prelim trials at the Kearson Event Center. Handlers like Tammy guided their dogs through a series of obstacles to reflect everyday life herding sheep. So I went and bought some sheep and unloaded them and my husband was like, well, what's that? I'm like, those are sheep. We're going to do sheep dogs, and I have a puppy. Meet Nan, who's originally from across the pond, but now resides in Manitoba, Canada. She's a six-year-old dog that I imported uh, from Ireland. You know, her pedigree says she should be good, and, and, and uh, I, I know the fellow that has her, and, that owned her in Ireland, and uh, just felt it was a good place to source a dog from. Ferris and his pup, like many handlers and their dogs, have a great bond away from their work. Always is watching to see what I'm doing and she's willing to just take part in uh, whether I'm fixing a tractor or whether I'm working sheep in the yards. Training at home for events like these is very different than entering the competition space. The course is never identical, which is an adjustment for everyone. When you're practicing at home, you have to set it up. You have to set up obstacles. You have to set up different situations. Mix it up day to day, you know, and it's not necessarily training for the course, but you're training for certain skills. You train your dog on verbal as well as whistle commands. Uh, I find the whistles uh, for me work the best on her, so I use mostly whistles, but she does work on both. The sheepdog community is close-knit, and events like these give participants a chance to connect through their sport. It's a hobby. It's fun. It's to, I have to remind myself to have fun at it, enjoy it, you know, meet the people, visit, you know, have fun with the dogs. Reporting in Rapid City, alongside Vic and Nan, I'm Andrew Land. Thank you very much, Andrew. And I, th I think Vic is a good name for a dog. What do you I think? I think Vic and Lil Vic. I've, <laughs> I've, never a, I've never met a dog named Vic, but I'm glad to see that uh, Vic's represented in the canines. NBA scores for you tonight. Timberwolves got a win 107 101 over the Thunder. Nuggets beat the Bucks 113 to 107. You've got to get Vic to meet Vic one of these days. <gasps> That's Vic right. Vic. I love dogs. Yeah. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> we'll be right back.